Hi everyone. Sorry I don't have a voice. Um, this is something that happens to me all the time. But the good news is I'm doing another video. So this video is going to be like my everyday makeup routine. I don't usually wear a lot of makeup in the summer. I mean my last two videos, my first two videos, have been me with no makeup on at all. So I do very minimal makeup. I don't put on lashes and you know all that crazy stuff but I know how to do my face now I am NOT a professional makeup artist okay maybe some of the things I do work for me they might not work for you but this is just what I do maybe it could help I hope it does so here we go the first thing I do is always wash my hands and then wash my face I always wash my hands before I wash my face because I feel like it's kind of counterproductive to be washing your face with dirty hands. So I did that already. Throw my hair up, get it all out of the way. And I start off using this e.l.f. primer. Eh, can't see it. e.l.f. I'll put it up there. Um, but it's mineral infused face primer and I already have it on. I try to get it in your T-zone which is here. So it's T. This is where I tend to break out the most when I do break out. Um, and it's the parts of me that get the most dry. So that's where I like to keep it. But, you know, get it all in there a little bit down on your neck so that when you blend your foundation, it blends evenly. Um, I'm trying some new products today, so I'm not sure how it's going to work. We'll see how it goes. So like I said, I already have the primer on my face. So now I'm going to go in with this product that I just bought. It's Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. Now, you can probably see I have naturally dark under eyes. It's a problem I've dealt with my whole life. Thanks, Mom. Never tried this before, but it's by Maybelline. And it was like 8 bucks. It's really not bad. It's a concealer and a treatment. So, yeah, we'll see how well it works and if I like it. Of course, I threw the directions over there. Oh. Why isn't this? Why? <laughs> this may require a number of turns. All right, well, here we go. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm just gonna go in. Makeup face is right. Oh. I'm just gonna pop the cap back on. Huh? Kinda like that, that was kinda neat. So now I'm gonna take this beauty blender that I got from e.l.f. that should probably be washed and blend it. So here I go. Oh, it's blending kinda nice actually. Well, it looks different on camera than it does in my mirror, but looks good to me, honestly. And, I mean, I do have sun. On, I mean, I work outside every day, so I do have some red, but I can fix that. So what I usually do for that is I have two things that I use. And I don't use them always, but this is Color Correcting Concealer from Hard Candy. Or I have this e.l.f. Concealer. It is Lightweight Concealer Stick. I'll link all of these in the description below like I always do. This I don't normally use on my nose or anything, but I will today because I am a little red in certain areas because of the sun. I don't wear sunscreen. It's really bad for your skin. I wouldn't recommend not using sunscreen, but I don't do it. So then I just blend it in there. Yeah. Okay. Eh, looks a little better. We'll work on it. So, there's that. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Now I'm using a different kind of foundation than I normally use. Like I said, sometimes I, most of the time I stick with e.l.f. products, but I've been trying some new stuff here and there. So I'm using the 
Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. Usually I'm tanner than this, although I look whiter on camera. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm just pale. I need to come to terms with it. So hopefully this matches my skin, but this is different than a lot of foundations that I've used because it comes in like a stick. So what I do is I put some on my hand like this. And then I use my beauty blender and I dab it in. Dab, dab. And I start under my eyes and go out and down. Um, sometimes I do too much like that. This always happens. And we blend. This is when sometimes I'll get my eyelid too and under my eyebrows. Um, I just pull it down a little. Bring it up. Dab a little more. Dab, dab. Go under here. Uh, it has been so long since I like actually put makeup on. This is kind of like weird. Uh, bring it down, bring it up. Dab, dab. think I use the blender but sometimes people use like brushes for liquid foundation I don't know I need to get more brushes so I can commit to something like that so I go in with a little bit more and it's always important to remember to get your neck too so that you look completely blended so your face isn't a different color than the rest of your body let me use my finger a little Ooh, that finger though I tend to go like, I kind of go like behind my ear a little bit because, you know, people are looking at you from all angles. You want to be blended, girl. Pretty friggin' good. TBH. I just can't get this redness away. So for redness issues, actually, you would use more of like a color correcting concealer, which is green, which I believe I used to have. Let me look. I do. So to combat the red... You can use this Hard Candy Color Correct Expert Stick. It's green. And uh, put a little bit. Mm, I look pretty good here. Just dab it a little. Dabby dab. <laughs> and I'm just going to put that in there. Boom, boom, boom. And it didn't work. See, that's what I mean about the Beauty Blender. It sometimes takes the product. I only use my fingers, you know. I'm going to go in with this color correct, same thing, hard candy, but it's the sponge going to go right up there where it is red. And blend with the back of the sponge. So after I have my all my foundation blended, I will always brush my brows, my brows. I just got them done so they should be okay. Actually, she did a really good job on them. Done. I don't really do a lot with my brows, to be honest. I think I have a fine shape and a fine color to them. I don't usually blend all the way down here, but I'm, I have some. So usually and then after that, I would go in with some sort of setting powder. So. Okay, so for moments like this when I'm out of setting powder, I will sometimes use bronzer and I use powder bronzer for this purpose and I got this actually at TJ Maxx it's Pro Fusion bronzer and highlight okay this is what the outside looks like so this is what I use on the outside and on the inside she's used it all <gasps> yeah I use it a lot I will use the lightest shade of a bronzer which is right here dab it in a little bit oh you can't see I will dab it in a little bit Blow it, and then go over your face and your neck. I love this product. I've only had to buy it once, but it's really good. And the highlighters are on point. The bronzers are great. Looks kind of dope. Then I start with my eyes. 
I know that e.l.f. creases a lot, so I will go in with an eye primer. I use e.l.f. eye primer and liner concealer. It's two in one. So the primer looks like this. It's just a stick. You roll it up. And instead of putting it directly on my eyes, I will put it on my pointer finger. I'll just brush it on like this until it's kind of thick on there. Yeah, there we go. And then I will just go on top like this. And I go all the way up to my brow line up here. It's really good to get up there. And then I'll use my other finger for the other side. I can use, <laughs> bragging, I can use both hands for makeup. So that actually comes in handy sometimes. So I can use my left and my right hand even though I'm right handed. So I will put this up here. That looks good. For an everyday kind of look, I don't usually wear eyeliner. Um, I like a more natural look, especially if I'm going to be wearing foundation in the first place is a lot because normally I don't even do that much. So then I go in and I just bought this and I'm super excited. It is called, it's from Hard Candy and it's the Look Pro Eyeshadow Palette. So it came with a couple brushes. I'm going to open it up, try to open it up. Oh, haha, <laughs> it was a sticker to hold the brushes down. So this came with two brushes. Now, okay, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm always a little bit skeptical of the brushes that come with any kind of eyeshadow palette or something like that because they're usually not that good quality. But I guess I could try out these brushes. I guess it can't hurt. I always love to have more brushes. I need more, but I never buy them. I don't know. And this is actually so pretty. Look at these colors. Like, get the light off a little bit, but... These are so pretty. There's mattes on the bottom and then metallics. Um, I liked it because it came with this like reddish burgundy color. That color looks really good on my eyes personally because I have green eyes. But I'm going to swatch it a little and see what it looks like. So I'm going to go in with my ring finger here. Ooh, it's quite pigmented. I'm going to swatch it. Let me see. I, I've never done... I've never done a swatch before. Yay, first swatch. Okay. Um, oh. I don't know. Maybe I need more. I, like, I see, like, Kylie Jenner doing these, and they come out, and it's like, oh, my God, you want to, like, scream. It looks so beautiful. And this is just, like, not doing it for me. This is not what I thought it was. I look ridiculous. I don't know. Here it is. We're going to try it. Um, it kind of looks orangey on my skin. We're going to do it. We are going to do it. We're going to go for it. We are just going to go for it. So I'm going to go in and use this brush that they gave me here. Get some product on there. Now see, something that I noticed, Manny MUA taught me this. Um, you can see that it, the product right there comes off a lot. Like it is going to happen a little bit, but that was a lot. This is what it looks like on the brush. I don't know if you can really tell, but here we go. Ooh! You see, the swatch didn't show me that. Ah! That's too much! Okay, breathe. In this case, I will take a clean finger and just blend it out a little, which is hard to do with the primer on there because it's not supposed to happen, but actually it's working out pretty well. Um. Oh, I forgot. Sometimes I go over my eye eyelids with like a very neutral color to make sure that they're both kind of on the same page. But this is popping really well with my green eyes. I can see it in the mirror. You can't tell too much in the camera. It looks honestly like I'm happy with it. It's kind of bold, but it's pretty cool. And I like this brush. Now, I only had to put my brush in the product one time, and it covered both eyes. Now, that is not something that I get from my regular eyeshadow palette, but this looks pretty good, honestly. I'm happy with this. Now, I'm going to go in with this blending side and just blend in up on the top of the eyelid so it doesn't look so cut. And that'll make it look less sharp. Like I said, I am no pro makeup artist. 
but this is kind of just what I do and this is what works for me and what I've learned over the years watching other YouTubers or even just doing my makeup myself. This looks good, yes, yay! Okay, now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in and do eyelashes. So, I always curl them first. Now, a tip that I learned, you always curl your eyelashes before you put on your mascara. So it gives them the shape, and then the mascara is kind of like the hairspray almost for your eyelashes that will keep that curl shape once you curl them and you put it on. It is CoverGirl Total Tease, and I love this brush. Wait till you see this brush. So it's a cute package. It's pink and black, and when you pull it out, it's got two parts to it. It's got the normal brush portion, and then it's got this little guy right here for your inner lashes and your outer lashes. So usually what I do is go in and I'm almost out of it actually. Pro tip, something that I've learned is that if you're running out of mascara or, or if your mascara dries up, you can always put like two drops of contact solution in your mascara and then you can mix it up. Also, something you don't wanna do is like pump it in and out. You don't wanna be doing like that. You wanna swirl it around because when you pump it, that's what makes it clumpy on your eyelashes. So you really want to just twist it and turn it. And I like to twist it as it's coming out too. So then I just go in. I'm going to go with a second coat, I think. Just to make them stand out a little more, especially on this inner corner. Now I go in with the bottom lashes and I just barely... I get as close to that lash line as I can since I don't put eyeliner down there for that everyday look. Okay. Now you can already tell the difference with this eye. The eyelashes are just so much nicer. It really makes the green eye pop. Yeah, you can see. Ah, oh, I got eyeshadow. Dang, damn it. Okay. So then I go in and I do the same thing on the other side. I'm so close to the camera. Hello! <laughs> Yay. And of course, one side always turns out better than the other. When it comes to, like, my good side is always my left side. So my left eyelashes always look better, my la left eyebrows always look better, and I always look skinnier on my left side. Mm -hmm. And then here it's just like, ew, who is that girl? I'm running out of this. Wah. It's kind of dry and I don't have contact solution. Something I do when the, my lashes clump up, which is happening a lot today because this is older mascara. When you shake it like this, you go back and forth. Not only does it define, but it also gets rid of the clumps. So I'm going to just go back in on the other side here to even it out. Because again, my left side always looks better than my right side, of course. Don't sweat the small stuff my lesson for the day. Don't sweat the small stuff. Here, look at that. Good as new. Perfect. So, I love to contour. So, for my everyday look, I don't go too much, but I always um, will do my bronzer first, my contour. So, what I do is I... This is more of an everyday look, so I don't, like I said, I, will, I won't use my cream contour. I just go in and it's almost gone. I'm so sad, but I use this one right here because um, it's darker than my natural skin tone, so it kind of blends pretty well. And then I always, like, tap it off a little bit, make that fishy face. Follow the cheekbone. 
and you want to cut that jawline. Some I sometimes get like that embarrassing double chin, so this really helps to find the jaw. See that? Right there, so I'll go in with that. And then Mrs. Kim Kardashian West, one of my most favorite people of all time. She tells you to do the three on your face. So do it a little bit up here and bring it down and blend it in. There's my three. Now it looks a lot, it looks harsh, I'm sure, right now. Oh, actually it doesn't look too bad. It will even out when I blend it, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. See already my face looks a little bit more defined and a little bit thinner. So this is when I go in on my nose here, just on the sides, not a lot really, because I don't really care that much about my nose. I think it looks fine. Um, but that just makes it look even better. Okay. So, now I'm ready to highlight. Now, lately I've been using this highlighter. It's actually um, Tarte Iced. I don't know how to say it. Um, Pro Glow, it's gorgeous. Look at this. Ready? Ready? And it smells like chocolate, the whole thing. So what we have on this, we have two, or we have a cream, um, we have a cream bronzer, right, where is it, here, and then the rest are powder. So I only use the cream contour when I want like a really harsh contour if I'm doing more of a body contour. Yes, okay, it's no secret. Most women, well, some women do a body contour, okay. I am not perfect, I try to look perfect, I do my best. I go in with this shade called Stunner, <laughs> Stunner, and I just put it on a brush, put it on a brush, tap, tap, and I always do it right up here. Look at that! What? And I will always go here and in the crease. Crazy beautiful, right? So much better. Then I will always use whatever is left on my brush on my nose because I don't need a lot of highlight on the tip of my nose. It makes me look kind of shiny. But um, And then I do always do a little bit right here. I think it's called your Cupid's bow, bow, uh, Cupid's bow or whatever. Right there. Yay. Done. Now for the blending. Blend, go, go, go. Always important to get down in your neck because when you put bronzer on that jawline, you, you want it to be blended. You don't want it to look sharp. It's always important to blend up here to get it close to your hairline, but I've noticed if I'm going to put it close to my hairline, I need to get it off of my hairline when I wash my face. It's always really important. I always break out up here because I don't think I do a good enough job of getting the makeup off way up there. Honestly. Look at that. You kidding me? Hello. So beautiful. Pause.
doesn't seem to be falling off too much. I mean, it did on the one shirt of my face, but that could have been my fault. Blend. So pretty. I love it. Now, if I do a lip, which is not something I normally do, I don't always go for lip gloss or lipstick, but I did get this in my Fab Fit Fun Box. You guys know how much I love my Fab Fit Fun Box. And I think this was from Spring. It's a company called Ish, and it's the Lip Statement Palette. It's gorgeous. Look at this. It's got its own mirror. Ha! Huh, right? Okay. Yes. I use my fingers for this. Um, I use my ring finger and I put this neutral color on first. Sometimes I'll put chapstick on, like during the winter I'll put chapstick on before my lipstick, but this, I don't need it today. And then what I do so I don't look too washed out, I take this pretty like Barbie pink here and I just just barely dab it like that. I just go boop, 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 boop. And I, right there, to give it some color, just give that little nudish pink. I love the nudish pink color. I think it looks really good for my skin and my eyes. That's enough. Yeah, looks good, honestly. So then my very last step is to go in with this um, e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. It's really good, I like it. I mean, I, I think it works. I haven't used anything else, so it would be cool to try something else. If you have recommendations for a setting um, spray, let me know. I know that people love the rose oil or whatever it is, and I saw that in the store today, and I wanted to get it so bad, but didn't want to splurge too much, so I get all my hairs out of my way, and I close my eyes, and I put it kind of far away from my face, if you can see, like, where should I go, like here? This is like, and I just do it. It doesn't taste good, but I keep my eyes closed. Try not to scrunch up your face, because I'm always worried my makeup will dry scrunched up. And voila. Got a little messy bun going on. This is usually how I wear my hair. So just to girly it up, I will bring some hairs down. Pull this out a little, make it look a little messy. I should do a hair tutorial. I'm actually better at hair than I am makeup. All right, well, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I don't know how the views will come out. Um, if you liked it, I'll definitely, I plan on doing one for like my nighttime makeup, which is super fun because that's way more like of a bold look and way more of a process <laughs> for sure. But, um, yeah, I'm super excited that I was able to do this and I hope you liked it. And yeah, this is the finished product. Thanks for watching. Um, I will link my products down below. I'll have them here and here. Pictures of them like I always do. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my page, AshleyLynn4269. Um, and yay! First makeup tutorial! Woo! Thanks for watching.